Hi, I'm Eric Linask. We're here at IT Expo in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. With me in the studio now is uh, John Stafford from Solakai. John, thank you for joining me. Great hey, to have Eric. you here. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. So, uh, you know, it seems that everything is uh, kind of uh, offered on an outsourcing or, or uh, almost an, uh, as a service kind of basis now. You guys have taken, uh, taken um, uh, uh, software development to, into an outsourcing model. Tell me about um, sort of how you yeah, came, up, came upon that. We've been doing that now for about uh, 13 years, and uh, we operate in multiple vertical markets, and uh, we try to benefit our clients by helping them get to market quicker and uh, put fresh eyes on uh, maybe some software they've already got in the field and uh, help them um, uh, drive you know, more product revenue on an outsourced basis. What, create, what drives companies to uh, sort of seek uh, an outsourcer? for their uh, development needs? Usually there's uh, one of three things. One is uh, they've got a deadline. Their mm -hmm. current resources are busy and they need a way to uh, get um, a software development uh, set of code done quickly and to market and uh, deadlines help drive sort of surge resources in order to get that accomplished. Oftentimes uh, they'll be in the market, they already have software uh, deployed and uh, it's got some bugs, it's got some problems, it's coming up short on features. Mm -hmm. So uh, they'll look for a fresh set of team to come in and help them uh, correct that. And then the third way is uh, scalability, where we do a lot of simulation and scalability to help a client get from an initial deployment of a solution to a more enterprise class. Who, who would you say is, uh, who would you consider the customer at your, uh, the actual customer at the businesses that you work with? Um, is it the IT guy? Is it the, the executive suite? Yeah, we're a B2B business, so the customers are uh, not the end consumer usually. They're a, an, a, uh, an OEM client, but we, uh, we target the VP product marketing and okay. the VP of marketing and the VP of sales. They're typically the individuals uh, that um, are facing the problems in terms of uh, trying to keep clients happy or trying to keep a contract fulfilled, and um, that helps us to identify where the gaps are in their businesses. How do those folks that you mentioned uh, realize that they've got a problem with their, uh, with their software? Uh, usually the clients are on the phone with them, and that's how they know they have the, uh, have the problem. Or uh, sometimes it's just that uh, they've got a competitive environment where they don't have anything deployed yet, and their competition is ahead of them, mm -hmm. and they're, uh, they're needing to hurry and get product to market quickly. You, you mentioned working uh, in, in uh, some different uh, vertical markets. What are those? Uh, one is the Hollywood crowd, digital media. We okay. do a lot of work uh, there. About 40% of our business is, uh, is in that category. It's really the distribution of video mm -hmm. into um, handheld devices and television sets and set-top boxes. And another category is called the smart grid. It's a flavor of Internet of Things with uh, water, gas, and electric uh, meters reporting on a network to a head-end system for utility. And uh, another big category that's growing for us is connected health. Uh, there is a lot of activity now in uh, remote teleconsult and um, trying to uh, get sensors and, um, and heart monitors and a wide variety of devices uh, connected up to the hospitals now. So within any of, any of those uh, verticals, there's uh, obviously a number of different kinds of uh, software uh, or applications that, that may need to be written. Um, are there particular areas of expertise that you have, or uh, can you really handle any kind of project? So we have domain expertise in those three verticals, but that domain expertise is usually held by a couple of developers, a uh, project manager, mm -hmm. and the general manager over that group. But uh, we have a wide gamut of uh, software skills within the company, so that whether it's mobile development or cloud development, head-end systems, protocols, uh, RF networking, uh, we have the uh, skill sets to be able to pretty much address um, any of the uh, needs that come from the client. How often do you find uh, uh, customers coming back to you with recurring projects? 
it's interesting. The, uh, the large customers are very sticky for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot of uh, blue chip um, large customers, and they're in the backlog year after year after year. And um, the smaller customers t sometimes will come and go. We might uh, do a project for them, and then we won't see them or hear from them again. But usually the companies that are operating at scale, that's where we try to aim, then uh, they like the service, and uh, they'll always come back for more if you treat them right. Aside, beyond the few verticals that you mentioned, do you have uh, plans to expand into other areas? We do. We have a, uh, a group of people in a group called uh, New Ventures. That's uh -huh. part of the team that's here. And uh, they're constantly looking for what else is there um, that would form the next vertical market for us. So we're pretty... Uh, pretty steeped in three of these vertical markets now, and then we have a little hunting team working for what might be the next uh, next big category for us. Excellent. Very exciting stuff. Hey, uh, John, thank you so much for being on the program. Uh, have a great week here at the show. Eric, thank you so much. Appreciate it.